as a small business owner myself, I know the importance of big, important decisions. Making the right one can be the difference between success and abject failure, victory and defeat. Yes, you've made it, and no, go start over. So when it comes to choosing your cloud platform, your choice matters. Now more than ever, startups are looking to Microsoft Azure to get their footing into the cloud for the very first time. Now for more on that, please welcome Vice President of US Partner Development at Microsoft, Mr. David Smith. Hey. Hey, David. Thanks, Rick and Donna. Um, we've got some really great guests joining us right now to have a little bit of a conversation about startups with Microsoft. Uh, we've got Jeff Ma, who's the VP of Startups at Microsoft, and also Evan Reiser, who is the CEO and founder of a startup called Abnormal Security. Let's start with Jeff. Um, Jeff, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about Microsoft for Startups? Yeah, so I came to Microsoft about six months ago after a sort of four, sorry, 20-ish year career as an entrepreneur in Silicon Valley and came here with the goal of trying to make uh, Azure the default platform for startups to build on. And Microsoft for Startups is a program that really helps accelerate the business growth of startups. So we're really happy to be working with startups like Abnormal Security. Great, and of course, Abnormal Security is indeed working with Microsoft for Startups. So Evan, how about you introduce yourself as well and tell us a little bit about Abnormal and what it does. Yeah, first of all, thank you uh, so much for having me. Uh, it's been a really exciting day. So uh, my name is Evan Reiser. I'm the founder and CEO of Abnormal Security. Uh, I've been an enterprise technology entrepreneur for over a decade. I uh, started four different companies, all, store, all, all focused on uh, bringing enterprise solutions using AI and machine learning. So Abnormal Security is a next generation email security platform. We use AI to protect enterprises against targeted social engineering attacks like supply chain compromise or fraud or business email compromise, which is currently the number one cybercrime in the world. So um, you know, for additional context, Abnormal security. Um, we're a young startup. We started about two years ago, but we're growing very quickly. Uh, we have over a dozen Fortune 500 companies uh, using our product today. Uh, we protect everything from healthcare systems to nuclear power plants, and we've been recognized by Forbes and Gartner as uh, one of the most promising AI startups and a top vendor for email security in 2020. Well, that, that's awesome, and we'll drill down into all those things you just talked about, but let's just talk about startups in general and how startups relate to cloud and and Jeff, I know you've got a, a background as an entrepreneur yourself. So how do you think startups in general should think about their choice of cloud platform? I think, you know, when, when startups, at least how we want startups to look at picking a cloud platform is not thinking about a platform and instead thinking about a partner. Because ultimately, what we believe is that much of the technology that exists on cloud uh, platforms is pretty similar now. And where we can provide value as Microsoft and Microsoft for Startups is providing really good customer access and really good go-to-market for startups. So we really want to be a partner where we have great uh, a partner ecosystem and great customers that we can bring to startups and, like as I mentioned, accelerate their business growth. So the decision of which cloud to build on needs to be more than just a technology decision now. It needs to become much more of a business decision. What do you mean by that? Like, What is the difference between that technology decision and that business decision you're talking about then? Well, ultimately, when you think about what we can do as a company is we really want to partner with our with our startups and partner with our companies to help them grow. We, we have so many great customers, you know, great enterprises. We can help startups sell into the enterprise. As an entrepreneur that's that's built companies before, I realize how hard it is for startups to sell into the enterprise. And a lot of that is because you have things like procurement, you have 12 to 18 month sales cycles. And as Microsoft, we can really help you avoid that by allowing you to publish in our marketplace, transact on Microsoft Paper. We can connect you to some of our top customers and really make it easier for you to work with enterprise, which is something that's very traditionally hard for startups to do. Ah, gotcha. So, so Evan, did you have some of these same considerations yourself when you are thinking about working with Microsoft for startups and using Azure as your platform? I, absolutely. So, I mean, Jeff, you'll, you'll appreciate this. Like, you know, as a founder, um, your job is to identify the biggest existential risks for the business and then focus on knocking them down. So for us, you know, our, our primary motivation is, is scale. And it's at the stage, you know, cybersecurity is a major concern for our customers. We have a product that's extremely effective. And despite the pandemic, we've seen about a 2x growth in the last six months. So the challenge for Admiral Security is all about how do we scale the business? We have to scale innovation, right? We have to bring cutting edge AI to you know, um, innovation to wow our customers. We need to scale technology to get 10x more you know, customers and 10x more data. And um, we need to scale our go-to-market programs, right? All everything that Jeff just mentioned, you know, we have to get to the uh, you know the other 
other people we don't know yet, right? We you see 10x growth in a really short amount of time. So I think, you know, um, a lot of entrepreneurs just like me, um, they think about cloud infrastructure as purely a technology decision. However, I realized that our enterprise customers, who are also Microsoft customers, really want to invest more in the Microsoft ecosystem, and they want to partner with startups like us that were equally committed to building on the Microsoft platform. So we took a, a hard look at um, you know the different options, and um, you know when we looked at Azure, there was kind of two things that surprised us. One, we realized that the technical offering was was much kind of deeper, more robust than originally we thought. And on top of that, there's a bunch of non-technical benefits from moving to Azure that were critical to help us scale. Um, and even though we've been totally impressed by the technology, you know, similar to what Jeff said, I think the major driver for us was understanding all the capabilities that Microsoft Platform had to you know, help us scale our innovation and scale our go-to-market. Okay. So give me some more examples about how Microsoft helped you connect with your customers there and, and sort of bring them to, to Abnormal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll, I'll kind of maybe talk about you know both both sides of um, the, the coin there. So for context, when we first started the company, you know we didn't even think about using Azure. Uh, we built. We were so familiar with the AWS platform, uh, and even when we crossed you know a million dollars a year in spend, we didn't really question the decision. Um, but when we decided to team up and partner with Microsoft, there was really kind of these these two sides: the technology benefits and the business benefits. So on the technology side, right, we realized that you know security privacy was critically important to us. Our customers trust us to protect the world's mo- you know their most sensitive data, and we need to have the world's most secure platform for them to take us seriously. Obviously, Microsoft is a leader in cybersecurity. They spend a billion dollars a year in cybersecurity, and Azure has more comp- uh, compliance certifications than any other cloud provider. Um, the second thing is right ability to scale. So Satya this morning talked about the importance of being able to process you know petabyte scale data in real time. And the third part of technology would really is really the ability to innovate right using offerings like you know Azure AI you know, cognitive services to empower developers to focus less on commodity infrastructure and more on you know, applied machine learning problems that are important for our customers. And then to kind of more directly answer your question, you know what have we you know what are some of the benefits we got on the go to market side? There's kind of three things I would call out. One is the Azure Marketplace, which allows you know, our customers to purchase our product directly from Microsoft for easier procurement. Um, there's also the Azure Consumption Credits Program, which rewards customers for um, consulting, investing more in the Microsoft ecosystem. And then finally, the Azure Co-Sell Program allows us to work directly with the Microsoft sales team to help our customers more easily discover and evaluate our, our product. And very specifically, you know, just last week, we were able to participate in uh, Microsoft Digital Transformation Academy, and we met with uh, you know over two dozen account teams discuss how we could uh, partner with Microsoft to bring our innovation to you know, our mutual customers. So it's been an amazing experience so far. Right. Okay. And Jeff, just in the very short time we have left, um, what should a startup in Evans positions do to get started on Azure? Well, they should go to startups.microsoft.com and they can get all the information they need about the program and they should reach out to us via the via the website to find out more information. We're, we're really looking for companies that are interested in accelerating their business uh, by selling into the enterprise. And we really think that with CoSell, which is a program which allows um, our sellers to retire quota against selling our partner solutions. And with, as we mentioned, the marketplace and other different uh, reseller agreements, we really think we can help accelerate the business growth of startups, which is one of the things I think that startups struggle with. Okay, well, that's great. Well, thanks folks for a great conversation and for everybody. For more on how Azure can work to fit you and your business, visit azure.microsoft.com. And now it's time for a message from our featured partner, Red Hat. 